I'm currently spending three weeks traveling in Pakistan. It's my first time in the country and I'm going to be traveling with a group tour through the mountains of the Gilgit Baltistan region. We were already in a pretty remote part of the world, but now we're just like middle of nowhere. Everyone in this village is just super friendly and waving and saying hello as we go by. Our journey began with a two-day drive from Islamabad up into the mountains to the small village of Tarashing, where we did the trek to the Nanga Parvat base camp. Best day of the trip so far. Easy, easy. After that, we continued north to the Hunza Valley, where we've spent the last three nights. You just have to sort of keep going, not think about it. Look at the views, though. We had a fun evening being entertained by a local band, and now we're about to drive the Kundrab Pass to the Chinese border before heading to the remote village of Shimshel for three nights. So today we are traveling to the Kundrab Pass and the Kundrab border with China. And it's going to be like a three, three and a half hour drive, but we're going to be going up to 4,700 meters and apparently it's going to be like minus eight up there so we need to pack layers fortunately oh no minus eight <laughs> fortunately jamie's from winnipeg winnipeg talk us through your layers go oh, go go go, okay. go 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 so this is the patented system that i have developed over many years of traveling layer one fleece layer crush it necessary Boom. layer two down jacket layer. This is the best packing list you'll ever see on YouTube ever, by the way. We are down with the down jacket. Down jacket. Oh. Layer three, windbreaker jacket. <laughs> All three combined can be worn in any combination at any time. <laughs> All three combined, completely unstoppable. Boom, and show us your socks. Oh, the other part of this. These socks, regular socks, fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> they go. All the way up. Boom. Unstoppable. <laughs> Winnipeg. <laughs> Everyone ready for the Chinese border in minus eight degrees? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Karakoram Highway is one of the highest paved roads in the world and it's about a three hour drive to the border where we'll be climbing up an extra 2,000 meters in altitude. Just on a quick stop to the Kundra Pass and we've got the most extravagant trucks we've seen so far on this trip. These are pimped out to death. We're all just stocking up on snacks. <laughs> nice to get some chocolate for a change. So we're just at the entrance of Kunjurab National Park. There's a sign saying no drones. One, because it just serves wildlife, and two, because we'll be at the Chinese border. We had a great time on the drive, not just admiring the incredible views, but also having a good sing-song to a variety of tunes, none of which I have the rights to. So we made it to the border with China. China. And it's supposed to be minus eight, but it feels like 10. <laughs> the system was unnecessary. <laughs> the system was unnecessary. <laughs> and yes, this is the highest point we're going to on the trip. 4,700 meters up, right by the border of China. World's highest ATM. Anyone need some cash? Yeah, I'll give this a shot. Let's see if it works. What, does the ATM work? Yeah. No. No. No more cash. China! 
Right there. Right there. Before many years, I think in 2014 when I've been here, I crossed the border. But now we just have to come here. Yeah. And go back from here. Now yeah. we wave. Yeah. Well, last time I was in China it was in 2014. We went into Tibet. I'd love to go back someday. But I'm so close. So close. <sighs> One day. Your country 44. <laughs> How many times have you seen snow in your life? Up close once. Once. Who should I throw it at? <laughs> yeah, I don't know what I've got for a football club badge on the... Oh, wow. Oh! Fucking hate on you. I love us. Oh, oh, oh. It's oh, oh, it's on. It is on. You get attacked. Snowball fight at the Pakistan China border. Just on our way back and we stopped in this little town of Sost to get some late lunch. By late lunch is actually pretty early for us, it's only like 2.40. Tell us so, so what you bought, Chris. Socks and shoes. Yeah. Sure. Very simple, very basic. Always you useful for a hiking them? trip. Here my $5 shoes, good deal. Sports shoes. Yeah, some of the food around here is like an interesting mix between Chinese and Pakistan cuisine. Wow. This is yak chow. We don't get this This is dinner and lunch. Well, we get each plate. That is a lot of yak chow mein. Oh my god. These are like American sizes, super sized. This is for everyone? Yeah, Everyone got a plate. Oh, I thought we were like sharing like six plates. I was like, oh, that's reasonable. Get to work. That's nice. That's outstanding. Yeah. We made our way back to our hotel for a nice chilled evening, getting ready to move on to our next stop tomorrow. All right, good morning. It's time for us to leave Golmut after four nights here. We will be back in Hunza Valley. We've got three nights in Krimabad on the way back, so we're going to see more of this area but today we're heading off to Shimshal. Have a nice journey. I hope you enjoyed your uh, visit in Pakistan, especially in Hunza Valley. Thank you, man. Thank so you, good. Man. Cheers. All You're welcome. Best. Cheers, guys. Yeah, yeah, we're good, man. Thank, Thank you. It's the most of the bad. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. People already started talking about, like, oh, we've only got a few days left. It's like, guys, we've got eight days left. That's longer than some of my entire tours, so it's fine. Plenty of time left. Lots more adventuring to do, so. Let's get to it. Today, we're going to be heading to the remote village of Shimshal, where we'll be spending the next three nights. But before we drive there, we're going to stop in the village of Pasu, where our local guide to Basim is from. Watch out. <laughs> Don't get run over straight away. is a very lovely, tranquil village. So peaceful. We have also a village down here, all the way from there to here. Uh, but it was washed by the Shimshal and the Khunjab River. So down here you're talking about? Yeah. That where there were homes at Let's go. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How, are you? How are you, sir? How are you, sir? Good. Visit from uh, university level. They're all from different countries. By the way, I just found out that wasn't just some random nice dude in a field. That was Tabassum's grandfather <laughs> saying hello to us and good morning. Nice to meet you. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you very much, sir. This is where we take our yachts 
In the summers, people take the yaks up to the pastures and they just leave them there for the summers and then bring them back in winters. Yama, how gets the yak grill supplies? They're not all of them are not there, oh, so okay. they also keep some for oh, okay. having for burgers. <laughs> very important the burgers, very important. <laughs> <laughs> so the locals in this village don't want like mass tourism coming to it so all the hotels at Pasu are built on the other side of the road. The only reason we're getting a little tour around is because Tabasum actually lives here. So we're very lucky to get this wander around the town because most people don't get to do it. So. And it's such a gorgeous, peaceful place. You can see why they don't want to spoil it. In 10 years, 15 years ago, many, many tourists are coming in Pakistan. Yeah, so now nice. it's very... This year is good. Yeah. We it's like good. it. We feel very lucky yeah. to be here when it's quiet and we can see the beauty uh, of the yeah, place yeah. instead of lots of tourists and... Hopefully we're not the start of the... Uh... <laughs> yeah, I'm about to ruin it. <laughs> Another thing we were really lucky with is Tabassum invited us in to some of the homes of the local families. We just used to live separately like this. This door, it is of uh, the elder brother, and after that there is the other door. There leaves the other brother. So this is how we separate. Okay. Yeah. So this is one giant structure, but there are different entrances for different like sub-families within yeah. the bigger family. What if you don't like your brother? This is my last day with you guys, so enjoy. <laughs> Thank you. The <laughs> 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 sunglasses just to cover up the tears. <laughs> Let's go. Lead the way. After you. Okay, come. <laughs> I'm going to show you how they greet each other. So usually the younger one uh, kisses first so when like they shake their hands and they kiss each other. Yeah. So you can he show them. This used to do this. This is Aww. to kind of respect. <laughs> Luke's making notes. <laughs> <laughs> The first house we went to was the home of a local poet and writer and he talked to us in great depth about the history and politics of the region which was absolutely fascinating to hear and we could have happily listened to him talk all day and then after that we went to another house where we met some more of Tabassum's family and also got to buy some crafted goods And she's my mother Hi. And he's my little brother 2500 this is just for your iPhone. It's now time to say goodbye to Tabassum and hello to our local guide from Shemshal, Samana. Samana studied tourism at Karakoram University and is now working as a freelance guide. She's also climbed a few peaks in this region and one day wants to summit K2. And all of us are now transferring into Jeeps for the three hour drive to Shimsha. Shimsha is a very, very, very remote village. And apparently as well, Shimsha was where the Hunza state used to exile criminals to as punishment because it's so remote and so far away. Basically, uh, Shimsha, uh, before 2000, Three uh, the people uh, came to Pasu by foot. Uh, after two to three days, they uh, walk and reach in Pasu. Uh, uh community built their road by their own. They work 18 years through uh, the road uh, and connect with KKH. The jeep ride there. It's supposed to be like one of the most dangerous roads we're going on, and so that could be interesting. Bye, Tarmac. <laughs> uh, now the seat belt's off as well. <laughs> Driving across the suspension bridge. You need a car.
finding the ride so far. It's not been too bad, really. Like, not been scary and that. Got a nice, easy pace, but the views are just unreal. So it's actually just nice <laughs> cruising along an epic roadway. Oh, best, best bit on the trip so far. It's sick. Long way around and stuff right here. I don't know. I don't know what Jack says in the movie. I've only seen it once. Oh it's, it's just awkward now. Yeah, he just says slip it in. Oh. It's the highest bridge. Just lovely to see it swaying. Go. Let's <laughs> go, okay now. Yes, well done, you're learning. <laughs> you're gonna die on this bridge. <laughs> <laughs> Just after we're saying, yeah, it's not too bad. Now we're driving right on the edge. It's like a I don't know, 200 meter drop straight down. They say that you feel more alive when you're closer to death, and we're about what two inches. If anything happens, it's been nice knowing you guys. To like a maybe a four five hundred meter drop, or maybe just three hundred, but still, it'll kill you. <laughs> That's fun. Kill ya. That's good fun. Where we are, well, I mean, that's staggering, but the road in was even better. It's it's just, I mean, it's crazy. Like, it's, the views, it, definitely the best car ride I've ever had. That was like one of the best days of the trip, honestly. We're just jamming out in the car. Crazy view. It's pretty scary, but uh, freaking awesome. It was cool. We haven't fallen off the edge of the cliff yet, so that's good. We're still alive. <laughs> Always a plus. <laughs> so, this is the Molangiri uh, Glacier. Yeah, mostly in winter we are doing here ice climbing and uh, the friend of this mountain is uh, the Stagirsa which is 7,700 and uh, behind this uh, black mountain that is a white one which is 6,300. Who wants to climb that? Yeah, yeah we'll let's do it tomorrow. <laughs> well, now. Yeah. I reckon I'll drive if you get out there, get us across the river, you could drive straight out there, couldn't you? One of these, the 5,000 something meters. 5,500. Oh, wow. You can. Glad, yeah. Nice. How long did that take? Uh, they take two days. Okay. Nice. Yeah. My man. Bye bye. Yeah. <laughs> cool by association. <laughs> <laughs> If you know, still don't know why you need to come to Pakistan, then this is it. This reason you need to come to Pakistan. <laughs>
Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Thank you. That was exhilarating. <laughs> so it's, actually, I was worried before and it's going to be a bit of a slog, a bit of a long drive in the Jeep, bumpy ride, but it was just so stunning. And now, already, we, were, we were already in a pretty remote part of the world, but now we're just like middle of nowhere. And so setting a gorgeous evening. I just, this trip, the ante just keeps up and nothing. It's just so, so good. So, very, very excited to be here. This gorgeous, beautiful valley in the middle of nowhere. Shimsha. We've arrived at our lodge for three nights. We're supposed to be staying in the new modern rooms that have just been built, but another group arrived and they were given to them, even though we booked them, but they're leaving tomorrow, so we'll upgrade then. So let me show you the old rooms right now. We've got room one night. Tour. Room tour, one night, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we have some random junk. There's a light bulb, doesn't work. And then we have a lovely chair. <laughs> And then the bed. Filming just lying down. Of course. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> you could hear the noise that it made. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna get extra blankets and like fashion a nest. <laughs> like just like just try and make it bearable for the night. Um, we're getting quite good at fashioning nests. Yeah. <laughs> Let me just show you the state of the bathroom as well. So. Yeah, squat the toilet, that's pretty standard. Um, the sink is covered in mold and hair. <laughs> and him, where there should be a shower, is a cricket pat. <laughs> but yeah, we're here for an adventure, we're roughing it, it's fine, it's fine. It's not a big deal, but it is a bit shit. <laughs> we'll survive. <laughs> we'll survive, we'll survive. But yes, this is, this is where we are. This is home, and the big reveal. See, it's worth it. It's worth it. Definitely worth it. It's worth it. Find we settled in for the evening and enjoyed a delicious dinner prepared by our hosts. And then it was Chris's time to shine as he dealt us in for a game of blackjack where we used leaves for betting chips. Okay, bets are open. Oh, all right, big man got the ace too. <laughs> this is the exact same part I got last time. Uh, you want to hit? Sure? Okay. Sorry. Too many. Oh no. Oh no! <laughs> you want to double it? No. Or you want to just play it out? I'm just going to play it out. 7-17-17. Seven, seven, seven. Well, that, I guess that's the sign. There you go, there you go. It hit me. Too many. Same card, too. 13. Oh, 21. Oh. Oh. Give me the leaves, people! <laughs> Whenever I gamble, the more I lose. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to gambling. One on one. <laughs> the plan for today is a simple one. We're going to hike around exploring the village and work our way up to a viewpoint of the valley. <laughs> So we just met a guy who summited K2. So twice. well, as many twice he summited K2 twice. Oh, K2, wow. yes. Wow. 1995. Oh wow! Wow. Luke wasn't even born. <laughs> no, I wasn't born. No, uh, G well born. done, my friend. <laughs> well done. G2 two times. Two times. Two times. Yeah, two time. G1 twice. Broad Peak and uh, China Mostagata Shispa. How how long did it take you to yeah. summit K2? K2. Yeah. Uh, 
One man. One man? Yes. Wow. One man. Are you still submitting now or are you retired? Now he's saying that he's just taking care of his family now. So it's been a few years that he hasn't submitted, and it's also he's getting old, that's why it's yeah. difficult to do. Yeah. He's yeah. 67 years old. Wow. wow. Yeah. Now he's a hard man. <laughs> At the top of K2, yeah, yeah. what's the view like? I get to in the last uh, is the is it? Yeah. This side is China. Right. Right side is uh, Pakistan. Yeah. Yeah. Nice view then. Yeah, nice. <laughs> Very nice. No, as a bike, you can all see all the other mountains down there from K2. So that's a very nice view. Nice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like just this year alone, seven people from this village have summoned K2. It's been a good year for a lot of people who've done it. But yeah, very, very impressive man to me, just as we're walking down the street here. And then he invited us for some chai. <laughs> it's like just customary hospitality around here, but don't really have time. It's like everyone you meet invites you for chai, and unfortunately, something you have to say no to. But it's really cool to meet them, have a quick chat with them. Well, basically, these two are too tall, so they stood up, <laughs> hit the top, and then they got covered and thought, "Oh, Luke's next to us." Started ruffling it about, <laughs> oh, and, that, and, now, one, and now I've got hair like an albino. <laughs> Turn around, just give us a twirl. <laughs> you actually have shoes now, rather than flip flops. Shoes. You know, shoes are pretty good when you're going on a hike. I don't yeah. recommend flip flops. <laughs> you got blisters. Up there's the White Horn. Beautiful, beautiful mountain. So gorgeous, so peaceful here. And everyone's so friendly. Like every local person walk past, they're like, hello, good morning. So, yeah, very tranquil, very relaxed. We got to this viewpoint, had a good half an hour here. And you can gradually see the group after sort of doing a group photo and stuff. Everyone kind of went off one by one to have that nice sort of little personal moment of inhalation, taking the view, thinking about life and all that stuff. Which is kind of hard not to do when you're in a place like this. another bridge and we're just gonna go back and forth across. That's fine. <laughs> back at the hotel we switched rooms to the new ones that we actually booked. So we just moved rooms and we come from one extreme to the other. This one's fantastic. A nice the bed's comfy. Wait till you see the bathroom. It's like one of the nicest bathrooms I had this trip. Yeah. Come on up. 
It's in. Two more, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Part of the strategy. Poor slick. Poor slick. Oh, I don't know that. We're gonna hold that. Yeah. Last night we just chilled out, drank some tea, and listened to stories from our hotel manager about when he climbed K2, which was just fascinating to hear. And now today, we're going to be doing a longer hike along the valley floor to go view a glacier. You ready for the hike? I've never been more ready for anything in my life. Are you ready for the hike? Oh yeah. Are you ready for the hike? Yes, sir. Are you ready for the hike? Absolutely. Great. Cliff, are you ready for the hike? Me. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to be hiking along the riverbed, along the valley, towards Sunrise Peak over here. And just at the end, we go up for like 30, 40 minutes to get an amazing view of a glacier. So it's going to be like eight to nine hours. Might be a long day, but it should be just nice. Just chilling, walking along, enjoying the mountains. So that's what we're going to do. What we got here? So right here we've got a dead goat. Ah, <laughs> like a dragon. <laughs> a big dragon. <laughs> Do you want to tell me what you're eating there, Carl? I ate a Mars bar I bought the other day, and it might be 20 years old. Yes, yeah, you've seen a Mars bar before. They're brown. It's a bit of a sus colour, isn't it? This is just a. Uh, Great, slightly off grade. It's the same colour as the dirt on the ground here. Yeah, do you want to give it a bit of a taste it's of this? A taste of what we've been walking through. Yeah. Melted about 20 times. <laughs> <laughs> Does it taste like a Mars bar? No. <laughs> I think it's fair to say this hasn't been my favourite hike so far. It's just been a bit of a slog, but. It's starting to become worth it now. <laughs> you like? It's gorgeous. <laughs> Stunning. It's been like a, a three hour slog. Mm. A lot of river beds, a lot of rocks, a lot of messed up feet, ankles. We're all going to be feeling it. But I think at the end of the day, this view. Definitely worth it. Definitely, definitely worth the hike. <sighs> that is incredible. It's unbelievable. hike like that and then when you get up here I feel like you just forget about it even though like yeah. you're complaining like oh my god but yeah yeah I feel there great now yeah about to feel like shit again yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, but yeah. right now I feel fantastic <laughs> but yeah this was the last big hike of the tour now it's just chilling after this oh, so that's oh, oh. yeah yeah we were up before I, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tomorrow I know your games <laughs> yeah I know your <laughs> games <laughs> beer time he brought a beer he brought a beer we, we had the right idea <laughs> We, that's what I call thinking ahead, Brando. Yep. We'll sell you guys a sip each for a thousand <laughs> rupees. We're going to pick Oh, shit. Cheers, Brando. Cheers, mate. <laughs> that's the best tasting beer of the trip so far. That's not much look, competition. Look, look. <laughs> The, the extra touches. 
you enjoy your last cigarette. <laughs> yeah, that walk back from the glacier was exhausting because there's no actual path, we're just walking along the rocky riverbed. And you're not looking up at the mountains, taking in the views, you're having to stare at your feet the whole time, making sure you don't twist your ankle on a rock. So by the time we got back, we're all just absolutely shattered. But it was still absolutely worth it to see that incredible glacier. And then just spent the rest of the evening just chilling, hanging out, and finishing off the last of the beer rations. <laughs> I'm in the truck with Anika. <laughs> Put my Anika into this. <laughs> what? what have I got to do? <laughs> Leave me out of here. <laughs> you're my girl, you're my girl, you're my friend. Uh-oh. Say, like, don't touch me. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Well, it's time for us to leave Shemshel. Uh, I've had a brilliant time here and I feel very lucky that we got to visit such a remote and beautiful place. And from speaking to our guides and the locals here at the hotel, I don't think many tourists come here at all. I don't think many people visit, visit here at all. That's of course a cue for people in the comments to go, no, I've been there, oh, lots of people go there. But the impression we get is not many people get to visit here. So I feel very lucky that we've got to experience this place. <laughs> How you guys feeling about leaving Shimshell? A bit guy, to be honest. It's, a bit sad, but it'd be nice to we'll move on to the next place. We have run out of beer, so <laughs> it's probably time to go. Yeah. <laughs> Nick has been drinking a lot of water. <laughs> it's dehydrated. Tons of water. <laughs> Much of that was all under water. <laughs> this morning, that awesome exhilarating Jeep drive we did, we now have to do it again to get back. And then we're going to be staying uh, in a town next to Krimabad, which is one of the more busy touristy towns back in the Hunza Valley. We do, we do have a fantastic driver, though, so we're excited for this drive. Yeah. 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 We do have the best. What was yeah, it? Lewis there Hamilton there's, there's meets Dave Grohl. Yeah. Yeah. Good morning. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. How are you, my man? The best. Can you drive our Jeep? Best driver in Pakistan. No, he's driving ours. Back off. Back off. We will fight you for this driver. Yes. Yeah. You want some? I'll give it you. Mate, you're gonna lose. Yes. And Krimabad's like our last stop, really, last main stop. We've got three nights there, and then it's just the two-day journey back to Islamabad, and then home. I'm gonna miss you. Bye bye. <laughs> well, that was something different and unexpected. <laughs> it's all just a mystery, but it's a fun mystery. Very fun. We're on an adventure yeah. right now. Everywhere we go, the mountains just get more amazing. Yeah. <laughs> So the road's been blocked by the villagers who are protesting about the power going off all the time. Could be here a while. 